monkey started. Your mother wasn't alive. <laughs> about the music it lives on and on well we had on. great writers neil diamond tommy boyce and bobby hart carol king i just did a tribute to carol king uh, uh called king for a day an album uh we had some of the greatest writers of all time you start out with a great song and, and you can't stop yeah well it's so catchy all that was so catchy yeah. that's why it sticks in your head right yeah. you know you there's a great story that i read online today about when you went christmas shopping right after you the little oh. had first started and <laughs> tell the story because this is when you finally realized that, that you had something yeah we've been in Ensconced in the theater for months and never got out. It was 12 hours, 14 hours a day doing the show, rehearsing, recording, all this stuff. So it was Christmas of the first year. The show had just come out in September, and I screamed down to the mall. We had a week off to get our Christmas shopping done for the family. So mm -hmm. I screamed down to the mall. I got out of the car. I run into the mall. I've been shopping there all my life as a kid. I walk in, and people start screaming and running at me. I thought it was a fire. <laughs> I'm like, don't panic. This way. Slow down. No, don't. I realized they were running at me. And I said, oh, God! I, I, I was like, kind of pissed off. I got in my car and I had to leave. I sent my roadie to do my Christmas shop. That's amazing. They sat down and ran the other way. And then you all went on and became very famous from that point on. But I have to ask, you all recently wrapped up a, reu a reunion tour, but it ended pretty quickly. Is everybody getting along okay? What happened? Yeah, well, there was some stuff going on behind the scenes, fiduciary business stuff. I can't say too much about it, right. but business legal stuff that was going on behind the scenes that was... Uh, Slightly nefarious, shall we say? We like that word. We do. We That's do. four syllables, darling. Now, when you get back together, are we going to see you all together again? You never know. On you never know. You're doing a solo tour. Well, I'm doing a solo tour now, and I'm here talking about doing another show uh, in New York. Oh, I, I did Aida here on Broadway for yeah. uh, a while, and I just got back from London where I did Hairspray for uh, uh, in, in England for almost a couple of years. You're busy. I'm doing, a lot, I'm, I'm doing a lot of musical theater, which I and love. And now, yeah. there was only three of you on tour, though, because yeah. did you have a fight with Mike no, at some point? No, no, never. Uh, he, he came out with us in 97, did the English tour. It was very successful. He came out uh, and did shows at the Greek Theater. Uh, he doesn't tour a lot. Um, yeah. Yeah. He ne you never see him out there. Right. right. And but he's always been invited. He's always been welcome. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, one of the interesting things is that you really, you'd been an actor before you got to the Monkees, but you really learned to pay, play the drums after you got the part. Like, I was cast as the drummer. Yeah. As, 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 yeah. As, as, as you well, know, were the, you a drummer? No, I was a guitar player. My, my, uh, <laughs> my, my audition piece was Johnny Be Good, Chuck oh, Berry. Okay. Well, yeah. And I do it in my show, but they cast me as mm -hmm. as the drummer, and I said, "Fine, I could read music. I I knew, and I had mm -hmm. a number of months to to, now, to work it up." There are so many songs though that everyone loves, and we've been sitting here singing them all day. Is there a song that you love more than any other one? Oh boy, it's tough to say because there were so many great songs. Yeah. I tend to like uh, there's one song called "Pleasant Valley Sunday," again oh, yeah. written by Carol mm -hmm. King. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, "Pleasant right. Valley Sunday." I would start to sing it, yeah. but we'd, everybody and, would lose the uh, audience. You know, kind of a rocker. Uh, <laughs> boy, there's so many great. Songs. But who came up yeah. with the one thing that I love about the monkeys, and I think everybody remembers from the TV show, you all walking on the beach and crossing the legs, right? Who came up with that? Well, there was directors, there was writers, uh -huh. there was producers. There, it was a huge project. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it was this television show about a band that wanted to be the Beatles. Because mm -hmm. on the television show, we're never successful, and that's right. a really important point. Yeah. Right. We were struggling all the time to be successful. There was writers and cameramen and directors, and we came up with an awful lot of stuff. They taught us improvisation, Yeah. so there was a lot of that. I want to I want to play I'm a believer because I just want to tell you that when I when we were listening to the song with my daughter one day and she goes, "How do you know that song?" And I said, because I do that in my show and I tell the kids, I sang this long before Shrek. Don't you forget it. That's exactly right. Thank I get 25 right. cents every time you play that song. Wow. Here. Yeah, we've made you probably uh, 125 <laughs> cents today. That's, that's, that's every little bit helps. You got it. My wife's out shopping right now. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, Mickey. It's you. great to have you here. And of course, you can get more information on his solo tour dates if you go to MickeyDolans.com.